Greetings folks, this is the little Radio Master Pocket. It's the latest in the line of Radio Master radios. Uh, and I'm about to test it out in an iNav flight. Uh, but first of all, let's go back to the bench and we'll have a look at all the details. And uh, then we'll come back here and I'll show you what it's like in action. Compact size, but fully featured little radio that is designed to slip into a little pocket like this. Uh, I'll just show you what we get in the box first. We get a quick start guide, a little screen cover there, and some stickers, and a USB-C data cable and charging cable. Comes in two versions. This is the ELRS version, but you can also get the uh, one-chip multi-protocol version, the CC2500. As you can see, it's a cool little transparent cased radio you can get the uh, the clear one or the sort of semi-clear one or the charcoal one and in a, a funky move you can also get aftermarket colored cases and in a future video i'll show how to uh, swap over the cases but that's my barbie pink version anyway as you can see it is all slimmed down so it actually can fit in a little pocket i think rotating fixed antenna the uh, sticks can be stored in the back there in the battery bay covers let's get them out and fit them you also have a nano sized rf module bay on the back there so you can fit whatever you want in there anything that's going to fit put the sticks on hall effect gimbals which are fully adjustable from outside the case for stick tension and uh, mode and uh, self-centering and all, all of that sort of good gear let's turn it on welcome to htx preloaded with htx uh, has a, a small black and white screen uh, color leds inside as well there's a green one for the power button there and for uh, these two buttons these two push on push off buttons here you know, you get a little uh, green led to tell you when it's activated we get three position, two three position switches on the top there and sort of nice low profile, not the typical sticking out switch that we usually get. And we get a uh, momentary push button there and uh, a nice stiff dial there, which is giving us a haptic and a noise on the center position. All the usual Radio Master buttons, return, page forward, page back, tele system model and the scroll wheel and these are the trim buttons here up trim center up and down left and right for both sides it runs on two 18650 batteries which fit in behind those rubber grips there a bit fiddly to get off I'll show you them later on but not just at the moment so nice long flight times uh, with 18650 i think they've quoted uh, up to nine hour continuous battery life if you're using Express LRS on the lower powers, if you're using dynamic power, it probably will be even longer than that. I'll pop those figures up on the screen because I can't remember them off the top of my head. But it's a very neat compact size radio that has all the functions you would need. Maybe lacking a few of the switches of the bigger models, but there'll be plenty there, even uh, with a bit of creative um, switch programming uh, you could do a full iNav model uh, and I'll probably demonstrate something like that I'm, I'm not too sure I'll decide later when we're out in the field lanyard hook there we have trainer DSC port on the top there USB data port there micro SD card already fitted with Express LRS all the uh, stuff you need there uh, charging via USB-C there uh, charging the 18650s and button there which probably is going to be headphones I guess so cool little radio let's just have a look at some of the specs for you oh there we go DSC trainer port on the top and headphones port on the bottom this is the Express LRS version so the Express LRS Lua script is already loaded on the SD card for setting up physical dimensions 156.6 by 65.1 by 125.3 folded size and unfolded it uh, expands to 156.6 by 73.1 by 154.8. I will test that and see if I can uh, slip it into one of my pockets. Weight 288 grams. 
internal RF options CC2500 one chip multi protocol or Express LRS 2.4. RF power CC2500 is 20 dBm max, which is 100 milliwatts, I think. Uh, Express LRS to 24 dBm max, which is up to 250 milliwatts, I believe. Control distance greater than two kilometers uh, at 20 dBm. All right, so I'll quickly whip through the settings. This is the system settings. Uh, these are all the uh, games and Lua scripts that are preloaded. TBS Agent Lite. Uh, I'll be using the Express LRS, of course. SD card contents. I've actually turned down the screen brightness just so that it shows better on the screen at the moment. Global functions, trainer setup, hardware calibration, version. This is it says it's the Radio Master factory version. Let's look at the models. We've got four preloaded models: uh, the Pocket which is a standard plane, uh, FPV drone, Delta mix or Heli mix, so it can do all of those different functions. All the usual setup. I'll need to bind up one of my Express LRS receivers to it so I can get it flying. Inputs, these are how it's been set up on the pocket model. Outputs, curves, logical switches, all the usual stuff. And telemetry. And display. And we have different display screens as well as usual all right so looking very good uh, I'm not a pincher but I'm thinking this will be a, a very very good pinching radio it's just uh, all fits very easily in the hand so using the pre-loaded model called pocket I've set it up for iron air if I have arming and, disarmed. and all the voice prompts are already loaded Quiz. Loiter. manual Return to home. Angle mode. So it has everything I need to go for an INAV flight. Now I had to load my passphrase on there so that I could bind it up to my receivers. Just to show that I have actually bound it up. Uh, this is uh, an Expre Express LRS ER6 from Radio Master. Plug the servo in. And it's all working. So yeah, all I did was uh, put put into Wi-Fi mode uh, and entered my passphrase in the uh, pop-up configuration screen and same for the receiver as well. Uh, so now they bind easily to all of my receivers that have the same passphrase. Simple as that. Okay, time to go for a flight. I have all the INAV stuff I need on here. There's the arm switch and I have cruise, loiter, manual return to home i even have a pan camera here as a combination of the the dial and the momentary button there so i can uh, determine the angle then rotate it there using the uh, momentary button then it comes back to the center anyway we're ready to fly let's go we're armed up up and away so the radio feels perfectly fine. Feel, it does feel small in my hands, but it's nicely rounded and easy to hang on to. Try cruise mode. Cruise, that's good. Loiter, it's going to loiter around over there. Feeling very nice in my hands. I should put my FPV goggles on and uh, get a bit of onboard footage. Bring it into land. So I can set up my audio and everything. This is the swordfish with the DJI uh, air unit on it. Oh, I've got some rain coming, don't do that. And coming into land. Delightful. Oh, there you go. Uh, so it's all working well so far. So we should be recording and we should be able to pan around. We've got some gunk on the lens there. All right, let's go. Up, up and away. And are we recording? Recording now. 
So there we go. Let's uh, put into cruise mode. Cruise and try the pan. Oh, look at that. Looking all the way back. That is so cool. And I can pan around the other way too. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. All right, back to Acro and we'll fly back around towards us again. And the radio's feeling perfectly fine. Not even aware of it really, which is usually a good sign of a, a good radio. Switches are in slightly different positions that I'm used to, but um, that's all pretty good. Put it into cruise mode. Pan around. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, no problems at all. This is a capable little radio. Tiny size. Fits in your pocket. Well, I haven't actually tried it in my pocket yet, but uh, I, I imagine it can fit in my pocket. Stormy clouds over there, late afternoon light. It's looking beautiful. Look into the turn. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. So I'm holding down the momentary switch there just to activate the, the pan and setting the pan with this dial here. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's brilliant. Take me a bit of time to get used to where the switches are, but uh, yeah, very nice. This is working well. <laughs> cool little minimal radio and it can do everything. Express LRS, you can get the uh, CC2500 if you're flying Free Sky or um, uh, Futaba. As I said, I think you could use it as a pincher if you're flying a quad, but uh, I'm sort of having to hold this awkwardly so that I can record it at the moment and uh, get it on the screen. But um, yeah, very nice, working well. Radio Master, keep coming up with uh, new radios and new gear, and uh, it's usually good stuff too. Flying the swordfish with the air unit and uh, camera on a pan. It's a 180 degree pan, but with the ex limits extended, so it goes to almost 270 degrees, which is pretty mind blowing. It's the first time actually I've used the, the full 270. Whoa. <laughs> Love it. Probably shouldn't do that in necro mode. Angle. angle mode? I could do it in angle mode, couldn't I? There we go. <laughs> Very cool. And back to acro mode. So they've sent me the uh, pink case as well. So uh, I'll show how to swap cases to the, the Barbie pink. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, uh, so yeah, be a good beginner's radio, definitely. Um, fairly inexpensive. Be the cheapest of the Radio Master line, I think. Making it very attractive for, for beginners or someone who wants to get into Express LRS. It would have all the range uh, of any 250 milliwatt Express LRS radios anyway. And uh, seriously. Uh, even on 50 milliwatts, you can go way further than I ever need to go. So, um, yeah, range in abundance. All right, I'll bring it in. Chop the throttle there. Probably a bit too high. I'll go around again, come in a bit lower. That's a better approach. The old sawfish glides in nicely. Do it from there, that'll do. Flare, and we're down. Great stuff. Hello. So there you go, Radio Master Pocket. Great little radio. Uh, it does everything I need for INAV. Um, 
and uh, be perfectly capable as a slope sawer. It's got the momentary button up on the top there, so it'd be good for a discus launch glider too, if you're right, la launching right-handed and you need a momentary switch in, in your left hand, would work perfectly for that. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.